and we're back. And um, as far as the fight scenes were concerned, I felt that the beach fight scene was absolutely awful. Lots of slow motion, lots of fast cuts, lots of weird camera angles. I had no idea what was going on. It was choreographed really awfully. It looked like it was a scene from 300. That, that's how bad it was. The other fight scenes were much, much better. Um, the No Man's Land fight was very well done. The fight in the German um, military camp was very well done. And the final fight, uh, I think, was mostly good. There were a few awkward cuts where you didn't actually see a transition to a different part of the fight, which was awkward. But other than that, I was mostly happy with it. Um, the, it was well choreographed. It was well organised. You actually felt tension because you didn't know whether Wonder Woman was going to be able to... how she was going to be able to pull this through. So I found them exciting. Yes, quite. I agree. <laughs> what do you, what what do you get out of this movie, John? What are some of the thoughts that really come to mind for you? Um well I think in terms of like my taste in movies, it's definitely not my taste in movies. But, yeah, I think I would have liked to have seen uh, more of, like, a c more character development. That would have been good. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of character development, um, I said before that I didn't understand Diana's um, motivations or what what made her, you know, drive forward, because... All we saw as a child, she was fighting as a warrior, and she liked the idea of being a warrior. And I just didn't understand what made her want to, like... Like, what does she want to do? She, like, does, she, what, does she want to have, be honourable? Does she want to achieve great things? I just didn't understand. The other person is Steve. I didn't understand Steve. There was this moment where Diana and Steve were having a heart-to-heart -heart talk, and he began telling his story about, Someone once told me this and he never went on with it. And it, I just felt like that was the moment to tell his story. This is who I am, this is where I grew up, this is what I've gone through in life, and this is what's made me the person I am, which is why I'm doing these things. But since that never happened, I didn't understand his character. So when he did these things, when he disobeyed orders to... Well, when he disobeyed the first order to steal the notebook, when he disobeyed the second order to go back to Europe after getting into Britain, and then when he disobeyed the third order, which is to break into the gala, the, the gala and um, actually try to shut down the chemical manufacturing, all three times obeying orders, and then he's finally his martyrdom. So four, four heroic acts that he, com that he was able to commit. And I don't understand any of them what was driving him as a person. I don't know. That's a good point. I have nothing to add. I'm just here to add awkwardness. 